Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to have a conversation with Sanjay about the background to Autism Rocks and some of the challenges he's had to overcome in order to get some of these concerts going. Sanjay, how did you think about using concerts for raising money for charity? Okay, a very interesting story. So um, at that time, um, I felt that my business in the UK was running really well and I wanted to spend some free time doing fun things. Many people in my peer group, a lot of expats that I know over here, they were spending a lot of time playing golf. Uh, I'm not really a golfer, so that didn't appeal to me. Maybe I was going through a midlife crisis, but I felt that I wanted to do what I, I'd done uh, many years ago, which was uh, be involved in the music business. It sounds like you were really enjoying yourself. When was that exactly? When I was a teenager in, in, at university, I was a DJ and I ended up um, being a nightclub promoter. Uh, over here, being in my 40s, I didn't really want to be a nightclub promoter. Um, I wanted to be involved somehow in the music scene. So I decided that I want to put on a big music festival once a year. After making some phone calls, I realised that there is a lot of red tape involved in Dubai compared to London, and I would have to go through an established business. And who did you contact first? I then picked the phone up to a government-owned business over here called Dunn Events, who put on a number of events every year. And I said that, um, I'd like to put on an event, can you help me? So what did you do next? So as a uh, trustee of uh, the Autism Research Trust, uh, I took it upon myself to arrange a black tie fundraising dinner in London. We managed to get the Ritz on board in London. We then were going to move the guests into one of the private rooms at the casino. It was going to be a great night. Two weeks before the event at the Ritz, I got a phone call from the CEO of the uh, concert promotion business here in Dubai. Uh, he knew that I'm a big fan of Prince. Uh, through um, his network, he had come to know that Prince was flying through the Middle East and um, he wanted to make a bit more money by uh, performing at someone's private event over here. So the idea would be private event means invitation only, no publicity, no ticket selling. I then uh, had a light bulb moment. I thought, well, why don't we get Prince to perform at our black tie fundraising event at the Ritz. We contacted Prince's people. He said the date works, but the venue doesn't work. He wanted a bigger venue, uh, a venue that's more suited to a music performance rather than a black tie dinner. So it changed your plans somewhat. So how did you overcome that? So we managed to find a nightclub that was available uh, on that date, which was Café de Paris in Leicester Square. And uh, within that short amount of time, within the two weeks, we managed to put on this private show. 